Prior to forming the lot boundaries, we need to create the road centre line and the road boundaries. So to create the road centre line, firstly in the CAD control bar, we're just going to put them into a model called CL. We can leave the colour as cyan and we're going to traverse along the road center line. So again using the traverse option we type in our start coordinates which is 965 space 4998 enter. We type in our bearing which is going to be 350 degrees 30 and the distance of 90. We then type in the bearing of 273 degrees 45 and the distance of 103. We then press escape. We're now going to fillet this string to put in a radius. To do this we use the CAD string toolbar and we use the one that says join fillet and we pick with direction so we hold down the left mouse button drag up and release and accept and then we drag along the next segment release accept and the radius will be minus 20 minus because it's going to the left hand side so we're going to look at creating the road boundaries now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to parallel the road. Now before we do this we're just going to type in a new a name and model name in our CAD control bar. We'll select red for the boundary colour and we're going to parallel the centre line string so we use the CAD string parallel and we can pick with direction along the road and accept the first offset to the left will be minus 7.5. The height difference will be 0, press enter. And we can do the same thing again for the right hand side, it stays inside the option, so this time it's 7.5 and the height difference again is 0. OK, we can escape on this option. The next thing we're going to do is convert the arcs to chords as we use chord boundaries. So to do this we select the option strings, strings edit, arc to chords. We select pick and we pick on the inside curve and we're going to set the method to number of chords and the number of chords will be two and select process. For the outside one now the we select pick, we pick on the outside curve, we change the convert method to outside and we make our number of chords 3 and select process. If we toggle on the vertices, we can finish on this panel and if we toggle on the vertices and the vertex indices you will see that extra vertices have been generated along the straight as it's projected the line back to start the chords. So we can actually remove these redundant points. So if we use the CAD delete vertex icon and pick and accept on those two vertices. We're now going to move down to the intersection and the road intersection has to be splayed using three chord truncations. So firstly we're going to trim and delete the road boundary lines. We're going to use the CAD string toolbar and we select the option cross split. Here we simply pick on the strings that we want to split. So we pick on this string and this string and then this string and this string. If you just tentatively pick on these ones here You'll see now that these strings have been separated from the main string and again this section here has been separated from the original two strings.
we can now remove the redundant strings again using the CAD delete toolbar and we use the option string so we pick and accept on the strings and now we're left with just the lot outline before displaying the corners the segments have to be joined to create one string the easiest way to do this is to redo reuse the join fillet option with a zero radius so if we use CAD string join fillet and we pick with the strings with direction pick accept pick accept and with a zero radius and we'll do the same on the other side pick accept pick accept again with a zero radius and you'll see now the vertices you've got four five six five six seven so they're unique strings now we can create the corner splays this is done under strings strings edit corner splays the number of chords will be three it's based on the tangent length and the tangent length is eight and we unpick keep original string so we simply click on pick and we pick on the corner point click pick again and pick on the other corner point we'll now deal with the end of the cul-de-sac so although there are design options to create cul-de-sac heads we're just going to simply do it manually here from scratch so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle at the end of our road so to do this we use the CAD circle toolbar and we pick the icon that says center and radius so we pick on the end of the road and accept and type in a radius of 12.5 now we're going to create the boundary lines around the cul-de-sac head and before we do this we need to create an offset point for the orientation of an edge of the polygon so we're going to select an option from the CAD point toolbar and we select offset we select the top edge of the road just pick with direction from left to right we then pick the start point which is here and accept the distance along the road will be zero and the offset will be minus five which is the radius of the curve minus the width of the road okay so we have a point here that we're going to use now so to create our cul-de-sac head shape we're now going to use an option from CAD polygon and it's going to be polygon circumscribed we pick the end of the cul-de-sac and accept we're going to have eight sides enter and here we go out and we pick on that point that we created and accept we'll now delete some strings that won't be needed firstly we're going to delete the little construction point that we previously created and then we're going to delete the string which is actually the arc we're also going to delete the segment using CAD delete segment the segment going across the road we'll now use the join fillet to fix up these strings here again using a zero radius so again pick with direction except pick with direction except zero radius and we can pick with direction except pick with direction except and again with a zero radius we've now created the lot outline in readiness for creating the individual lots 